What's up? My name is Monica Alexandra. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. It's been a long time since I've sat in front of a camera and recorded. It's been months, honestly months. Like, um, So today's video, I just kind of wanted to do an update video. It's been a long time. I haven't talked to you guys in forever. And so I just, I'm getting ready and I decided, hey, why not do a chit chat update, get ready with me. So, so I stopped recording because I got a job. So I got a job, a full-time job. Before this job, I was just working part-time and going to school full-time. And then this semester, I over the summer, I got a full-time job. I had to take a little break, so I kind of got lost where I left off. But um, I, started, I started applying to jobs like at the end of June. And in my head, you know, I hear people say all the time like, oh, there's no jobs out there. Like it, it's so hard to find a job nowadays. So that's why I started applying to June in June. And I thought that I was still going to have like the whole summer off and that I was probably going to get a job like in August or something like that. And maybe I'm wrong, but I always hear people complaining like there's no jobs out there. And even when I was applying to my part time job, I had a hard time finding that. But it's because it was part time, you know, and like a lot of people are not. Well, it's kind of like all over the place. Some people are looking to only hire part time, but a lot of people are looking for full time. And so i thought in my head i'm gonna start applying at the end of june and probably not get get a job until august you know the whole interviewing process and stuff like that it's gonna take a while so i thought right i hate these like this chair makes a lot of noise sorry but i hate these like marks at my face i've been using sorry this is a whole side drop but i've been using Mederma like um intensive overnight scar cream i just started using it this week so i've only been using it for five days but I hope it makes a difference in my acne scars because I have so many scars as you guys can see like foundation doesn't cover them and I'm not a full foundation full coverage foundation type of girl but anyway so I I thought to myself um that I was gonna get a job in August but literally like I got a job like two weeks after I applied like literally two weeks like it was crazy how fast I got a job and I'm excited like I'm, I'm not saying anything bad like I love that I started making money like I started working before my birthday in July and and I love that I had money to go out for my birthday and do stuff for my birthday and it was just nice like you know because when you're working part-time like it's a huge difference between working full-time and um so yeah I just I was very excited to have money finally you know and be able to help my husband and stuff like you know pay for our bills and you know because i'm not like type of girls i know some girls will be like oh no like i don't want to work or i don't mind my husband like paying everything for me but i'm just not like that personally since i didn't grow up like that you know my mom and my dad both worked two jobs growing up when we were like little my brothers and my sisters and i were younger because they had to do what they had to do to make ends meet you know so i kind of grew up in that mindset that like i was gonna work and my husband was gonna work and we were gonna do stuff together i'm running out of this thing that's why i'm like oh it doesn't focus i don't think it'll focus but yeah well there it is the journal blend powder um oh and i'm just like spilling it all over the place do you guys like clean it off the the table if it spills over because i do that i don't know if that's like broke girl problems but i do that so anyways um so yeah i'm very excited that i got a job but i got a job really fast and i'm working 40 hours so i'm full time i'm working 40 hours monday through friday and it's in downtown la and that's what's kind of been hectic like the whole downtown la part um i don't live in downtown la and if you guys live outside of california or you guys live in california you guys know that la is crazy just how you see it in the movies with all the traffic or how you hear in the news the traffic that's how downtown LA is. So I head to downtown LA during traffic jam hour and then I come back during traffic jam because I work 8.30 to 5.30 and so it is crazy. I get home at 7 every day and I leave here like at 6... What time do I leave here in the morning? I leave here like at 6.45 in the morning and I get to work sometimes late but most of the times I get there before 8.30 and it's just been hectic so i haven't been able to do any videos i haven't been able to do like anything honestly like any of the stuff that i like to do i haven't been able to do them just because i've been so busy and um i feel like my face looks white but i promise you it's not it's just like 
I haven't been able to film videos and it's like making me think about vlogmas and I know that I'm not a big youtuber and like nobody really watches this but like I like doing this I like making videos it like gives me something to do with my life and I know that sounds like lame or weird but it's just like my hobby like this is what I like to do even before I got married like this is what I did and and even my husband when I met him and he told me like oh you do YouTube and he asked me how many followers I have and I'm like it's not about that it's just like I poked my eye with the brush on this side and it got red oh that really hurt but anyways um yeah it's not about like the followers or stuff like that i just like doing this it's just something that i like to do on my free time but just like now i don't have free time and you know a lot of people would just be like well then don't do it if you don't have free time but i'm like but i really like to like this is what i like to do i like to make videos i like and i kind of like to do it not for the sake of like people watching but more for the sake of like when i'm older and and I have all these memories to fall back on. Like, I'm going to like that, you know? I'm going to be able to remember all the stuff that I did when I was this age. And, you know, it's just something like before I had kids, what my life was like. It's something I could show my kids as well. And just stuff like that. You know, I just like it for that reason. It's like a memory book. Now, um, my friend Jasmine just had a baby. And so she's doing that. And then I got married and started working full time and... And so it's just been hard to see my friends too. Um, I hardly ever see them now. Like we just don't have the same schedules anymore. And I saw my friends last week. But I saw them for like two hours and then I had to leave because I have to come home and clean the house. Like Saturdays are super, today's Saturday. And I cleaned my house yesterday, but usually I don't have Fridays off. But the only reason I had yesterday off is because I didn't go to church. And that was bad of me, but I just thought to myself, like I want to clean and Ooh! my light fell <laughs> or it was about to fall and i grabbed it in my hand um and so that's the only reason that i have today off is because i cleaned yesterday but because my husband had stuff to do he had stuff to do um and so i decided to clean the house and another thing is that me this is gonna be all over the place i'm so sorry it's just hard for me to kind of do these two things at the same time <laughs> but um I want to have a baby. Me and Elvis both, we want to have a baby next year, sometime next year. So I'm excited because um, the year is ending and me and Elvis, like when we got married, we always told, we always came to the idea that we were going to try to have kids next year. Like that's our plan. Sometimes like I, I get anxious and I'm like, I really want to have kids, but you know, I guess that's a good thing about having a full-time job as well is that, you know, I have the finances to like, um, have a kid now whereas before like me and Elvis, you know, we barely got married in March and at that time when we got married in March We were not in the financial Place to like have kids right away. You know, I know some couples choose to do that But also like as much as I want a kid But I also wanted to spend time with my husband like just me and him and have like our own life You know get to do the things that we want to do as a married couple before we have kids so that's also why we wanted to wait finances and also just we wanted to wait because we wanted to you know enjoy our time together as husband and wife without kids yet we always told ourselves that we were going to start trying at the one year mark of our marriage so at the one year mark of our marriage after we've been married for a year um we're going to start trying to have kids and so i'm super excited i'm super excited i'm very nervous i also want to lose some weight um, before I have the baby, not because I'm like, okay, I'm going to gain weight during the pregnancy, because obviously you do, but I'm saying like in terms of like healthiness, I'm not at my healthiest weight. I'm very overweight. I would feel this is the most overweight I've been in my entire life and it depresses me sometimes, but it's like, it's been, it's been a struggle. Me with my body weight, it's been such a struggle for the past like two years. I feel like I haven't been able to maintain my weight and, but like, you know, if I have a baby, I want to be in the best shape that I can be. Like trying to get back into shape, trying to get back into the, the rhythm of going to the gym. Cause honestly, after we got married, we have not gone to the gym. And it's been almost eight months and we have not gone to the gym one time. And so it's been, it's been hard to get back into that rhythm. And um, yeah, I really want to start going back. I We've been trying, so we started off so we um started cutting back on 
like how much we eat we're eating smaller portions now and um that's been helpful like it, it's it's struggle because i'm still hungry i'm the one who gets hungry all the time because i eat a lot always doesn't eat a lot but i feel like he was not used to eating american food since he is from guatemala and um so i feel like that's what made him gain weight that he's not used to eating american food and now he's only eating like north american food so that's been rough on his body my so my camera turned off and i just restarted it right now but um yeah there you guys have it the cats out of the bag elvis and i want to start trying to have kids and hopefully um you know all goes well for us because i know some couples have trouble um having kids and you know hopefully that doesn't happen to me my best friend jasmine just had a baby and i see her baby and i'm like i see her life and i'm like i want to have a baby like that's what i want right now in my life and so hopefully god willing you know um if it's in god's plans then elvis and i will be able to um you know conceive next year and, and see how that goes and i'm very excited for that stage in our lives and um yeah other than that guys i dyed my hair i don't know you guys can tell but i'm i'm like going blonde <laughs> um and i made a whole video going into depth about that um going to detail into detail but yeah i i really like it at times and then times i miss my black hair um and i also cut my hair so that's something super different and i have bangs which is why i have this clip here i'm growing out my bangs and so yeah i just made that change i don't know me being like a traviesa that i am i just wanted to to try something different and i kind of went super different i feel like i shouldn't have done the bangs the bangs were one step too far but the color i actually do like it's just high maintenance to be blonde i mean i had jet black hair before and my hair is pretty much black so i didn't have to worry about touch-ups like it would just gradually um fade and be like instead of a jet black color it would be like a brown black color which i didn't mind but now it's like my roots are dark and my hair is blonde and doing the root touch up even though i have the dark roots with blonde it's still a lot of work and then my hair just got so damaged so i i just say that if you want to do your hair blonde like really think about it because it's a lot of work doing the purple shampoo and the deep conditioners and the hair oils and just it's just a lot of work you know and then also having to go every now and then to get it toned to get the brassiness off it's it's high maintenance being blonde is high maintenance and it's kind of like that's something that i don't like but when i have my hair done like right now it's drying because i just showered um but when my hair is like curled and everything like it looks super nice and i love it but like it's just such high maintenance when i have to shower like today that i washed it I wash it every three days like I washed it Wednesday and then I wash it today and I wash it Tuesday and I just go every three days but every three days like I have to purple shampoo it I have to deep condition it and then my hair is damaged so I put some protein treatment in it and I have to leave that for 15 minutes and it's just honestly a lot and I feel like I'll keep applying and applying this mascara but just because my eyelashes are so little that I love to do this and when I don't have eyelash extensions like I have to do this and I can't put on fake eyelashes to save my life like I cannot work I've been tired all the time and always like makes fun of me because I'm tired all the time but like sitting at a desk for eight hours yeah it's like you think to yourself like that's nothing but it hurts your back and so I've been having back problems from sitting down and I'm having to do back exercises and it's just ridiculous like that that's even a thing. And I get back into the, the habit of like filming videos again so that's why I decided to do like step in easy. And I don't know when I'll edit this because I'm going to film two other videos today. But hopefully this goes up soon. I think the hair dyeing video will probably go up first. And then this one and then um, the other one that I'm filming. And Vlogmas is coming up, guys. And I don't know how the heck I'm going to do that. I think some of the Vlogmas episodes are going to be pre-filmed. Because I cannot, for the life of me, just film myself at work every day for eight hours. You know, that's boring. Nobody wants to watch that. So, I'm thinking that I'm going to pre-film them. And I have some ideas already. And um, I just have to get working on that because yeah i don't know how i'm gonna do vlogmas like i cannot do every day even when i was like not working full-time and just going to school full-time i found it super i found it super hard to edit every day 
and film every day. And now that I'm working full time and in downtown LA and I'm gone from 7 to 7, when am I going to edit? In my lunch hour, pretty much. Which is what I plan on doing, but you know, some videos are going to have to be pre-filmed because I cannot do an everyday thing at this point in my life. And um, yeah, that's all that's happening in my life right now, guys. Um, I'm being so loud, so obnoxious with this. But that's everything that's happening in my life right now, guys. And um, yeah, thank you so much for tuning into this Get Ready With Me. And I will see you guys in the next video. And you guys are probably going to see me in the same shirt in the next video that I'm filming. Just because, like I said, I am filming three videos today. But um, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>